Fisherman's Friend was created in 1865 to relieve problems caused by hostile conditions. But times change. Those hostile conditions today include getting a little sniffle, feeling full, or not being able to keep up with the Kardashians. The worst. The problem was, well, first world problems. The solution? Hashtag suck it up. The campaign launched with three spots that paid homage to a stronger time. It was a time when people weren't wusses. A time when that sniffle was simply your booger looking for a place to hide. But times have changed. But man colds were just the beginning. We took the battle against first world problems to the hub of complaining. Twitter where this guy complained about having to charge his phone, or this girl who had too much homework, or this drama queen who couldn't find her Milky Way bar, and pretty much the rest of Twitter. Introducing the Cough, Cold, and Complaining Remedy, AKA the Suck It Up Club, where we told whiny people to suck it up with the help of our disgruntled grandma. No one was safe. Cooking is not for me. Having my boobs sag to the floor isn't for me either. Suck it up, Violet. Suck it up, Erica. Suck it up. Mama, ma, 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 But what about the people that just deal with their problems? We rewarded them with a boatload of fishermen's friends so they could continue sucking it up in 140 characters or less. We also sponsored our modern day gladiators with Sportsnet's Hits of the Week. Oh boy, big hit on Smith. Ooh, you'll be walking funny. Then we told people to suck it up on their commute via radio. So, you spilled your frappa dappa crapper on your lapper? Suck it up, fisherman's friend. Sucrose free, cause this ain't no candy. And suck it up they did. Fisherman's Friend sales boosted with some of the highest months of sales on record. We also made quite the impression on Twitter. Over five million. Turns out, it's tough love that truly conquers all. All of you need to suck!